In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at testing network connectivity. So the first thing we're going to do is we've come into Windows PowerShell and all we're going to do is we're going to test the connection out to our domain controller from our client PC. I'm going to do that by using my test hyphen connection space lon hyphen DC1. Now what we should see is sending a ping and we've got four replies back. So the next thing we'll do is we'll have a look to see if we have any connections, either incoming or outgoing to any devices that we have on the network. And we can do that by using a utility called Netstat. Now Netstat is extremely useful because it will show you any connections to your device and also as well any connections that you're making from your device. So if you're sat at home or if you're working in the office and you want to see if anybody's connected through to you, which ports they're connected on, we can use the Netstat command to find that information. So I'm going to do that by using my netstat space hyphen n and when we hit return what we see is we can see that we have connections foreign address 172.16.0.10 colon 445. Now the reason why we can see that is I've connected through to lon hyphen dc1 and I've connected through the C drive. So I did that by, uh, did that by running backslash backslash lon hyphen dc1 backslash c dollar logged in as administrator use friendly authentication just to pass that through. So we can see we do have a connection there. So let's just minimize that down. We're not really bothered about that anymore. And another thing we can do through the command line is we can have a look at the Windows firewall configuration as well. So we can see which ports are allowed or denied by just looking at the config. And we can do that by using a net shell command. So we're gonna to need to use a net sh space adv firewall space firewall space show space rule space name equals all so on all rules and we just want it for incoming rules that we have set up now that's going to be quite a few of them but as we can see it's giving us a list of what's allowed now one of the things you can do with that if you want is you can do the command again and if you do a shift uh, greater than symbol you can actually do that to a file so we can do a greater than and we can specify C colon backslash test.txt. So as you can see at this point here, that came back much faster. So let's just have a look at my C drive now. And that's better than trying to read it as it scrolls off through a screen. One of the other things we can do with our device is we can uh, reconfigure how the networking works on our device. So I've currently got a static IP address. So that's an IP address I assigned. The issue that you potentially got with the static IP address is if you're reading off a list and somebody's told you to put in that IP address, somebody might have already used that IP address and the person that's giving you the IP address purely hadn't crossed it off. So we don't really want two devices with the same address. It's like the postman walking down the street and seeing two number 21s. Where's he going to put the letter? So all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come into our network connections by right clicking on the start button. We're then just going to come down to network and sharing center. And in the network and sharing center, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my adapter settings. I'm just going to come to my ethernet adapter and come to the properties. And on the properties, I'm going to come to IP version four, click on properties. I'm going to change from a static IP address. And I'm going to obtain IP address automatically from my DHCP server. We'll select OK. We'll select close. That's going to go away. That's going to reconfigure the IP address. So what we can see now, if we just come back and have a look at the properties again, if we just scroll this down again, if we just look at IP version four, look at the properties, we can't see the IP address. And that's where the commandlets for actually identifying what IP address we've got are extremely useful because we don't have the ability now to go in and have a look through the graphic user interface. So what I could do at this point here is I can now come down to my command prompt and I can do an IP config. And when I do an IP config, I can see the IP address 172.16.0.160, subnet mask, default gateway. But if I do an IP config forward slash all, I get some additional information. And one of the things we can see here is we can see DHCP enabled, yes. So we can see the IP address, we can see the subnet mask, we can see when we got the IP address and we can see when it runs out. And we can also see as well which DHCP server that IP address came from. And that's the end of this demonstration of testing our network connectivity. Thank you.